Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you another recipe. I'm going to share with you how I make Tiozafi tease it my way. So in this recipe, I'm going to go ahead and then show you the ingredients that I'll be needing for, I'll be using for this recipe. So for the green soup, I have here okra that I have grated, herring powder, and jute leaf for the green soup. So I have in this bowl a mixture of onions, garlic, ginger, and pepper. I will leave the uh, ingredients in the description box below. And I have two tablespoons of shrimp powder. I'll be using one maggi cube and African lactose beans. I got the maggi cube and the African lactose beans from my local African market. I have here three tablespoons of tomato paste and I have here a bowl of tomato crush. I'll be using mackerel and tomato sauce. And for this recipe, I'm using vegetable oil for this recipe. But you can use the palm oil, that is the red oil, but I don't have that one now. And that's why I'm using um, the vegetable oil. And for the tiozafi, I'll be using white corn flour and then cassava flour, that is coconut tea. So guys, let's get into this recipe. Uh, and I'll be using this meat for the stew. So I have in here cow foot, cow tripes, and goat meat. That is the mixture of meat that I'll be using. But if you don't have this and you have any other meat, if it's beef, whatever you have, you can use it. But I'm using cow foot, tripes, and then goat for this recipe. So it's already on fire. Now our, oil, now our oil is heated and I'm going to pour in a tomato paste and fry it for about 5 minutes. And we're going to let it be on fire for 5 minutes and we add in our onion mixture. We have in our onion mixture now so we're going to let it cook for additional five minutes then we add in our tomato crush now we're going to add in our tomato crush to it and then add water and cover it and let it cook for about 20 minutes then we add in our meat Now I'm going to add in the meat together with the meat stock and then let it be on fire on a medium heat and let it cook for 45 minutes. Now we have our meat in so we're going to add in our spices, all of our spices and then add a little bit of water to it at this stage and cover it and let it cook on a medium heat now whilst our stew is on fire and it's still cooking i'm going to go ahead and then make the ayoyo or the green soup so what i have in here is the grated is the okra, okra that i've grated and i've added in um some of the meat stuck to it so I'm, be, I'm going to let it be on fire for four minutes then I add in our ayoyo or jute leaf to it and add bicarbonate of soda to it 
so it's been so it's been 20 minutes since we added our meat to the stew so at this time i'm going to add in our mackerel and tomato sauce then the shrimp powder to wait and taste for salt but guys if you don't have the mackerel and tomato sauce and you have smoked mackerel cooked ball mackerel that is even better you can add it to at this stage so i'm going to go ahead and i add in the mackerel and the shrimp powder to it at this stage and taste for salt and let it cook on a medium heat for additional 30 minutes then our stew will be ready now we have in our jute leaf or ayoyo leaf and then the bicarbonate of soga in our soup so we're going to let it cook for five minutes then i'll add in the fresh powder and the tuna to it guys if you don't have the tuna the canned tuna and you have mackerel you can use it you have the ball mackerel you can use it in this one ball or smoked mackerel also goes very well with this and if you don't have the herring powder and you have the whole herring you can put it in as well power to wait now our soup is ready so we're going to just go ahead and make the tuyoza that is the tea set our green soup is ready so we're going to make the tea set and our stew too is ready at this time so we're going to just make the tea set right away our stew it's also ready now we're going to prepare our chiozafi tz so we have our water on fire we're going to let it boil and then we continue now our water is boiled so we're going to just go ahead and then make our porridge for the chiozafi so what I have in here is uh, one cup of the corn flour that I've mixed together with water. I'm going to put that one in the wa boil water to make a porridge. Actually, I'm using two cups of corn flour to one cup of cassava flour for the chiozafi. So I've mixed uh, one cup of the corn flour with water. That I'm going to use for the uh, the porridge and then I'll mix the other part with the cassava flour so now our porridge is on fire we're going to let it cook for about 15 to 20 minutes then we continue now our porridge is cooked it's ready so i'm going to pour half of this porridge and set aside and then put in the mixture of the cassava flour and the corn flour to the remaining porridge on the fire and then stir it continuously guys you need to stir it into one direction in order not to create lumps in your chozafi if you uh, stir it back and forth you're going to put uh, lamps in your chiozap which is not nice so you have to stir it in one direction at a time you stir as you pour it in you need to stir it in one direction as i'm doing right now so it all makes so at this time i'm going to add in some of the porridge that we are uh, we put aside you don't want your toes of it to be very hard it needs to be very soft so you add in the remaining porridge that we set aside as you go on so 
so we are going to add it in and then stir it so we get the texture that we're looking for now so it's all ready we're going to dish them out and then enjoy so guys if you like this video please subscribe to my channel for future uploads thank you for watching merry christmas